This is the second screencast covering module for lesson 12. This one goes over the homework problems, so we're going to give you some guidance so that you're not puzzled by it. But we're not going to solve them for you, but we'll, we'll help you get started. Let's look at the first uh, problem here. Terrence finished a word search in three-fourths the time it took Frank. Charlotte finished the word search in two-thirds the time it took Terrence. Frank's finished the word search in 32 minutes. How long did Charlotte take? Well, we're going to make some tape diagrams here. And we're going to start with Frank because he's the only one where we know the specific length of time. So, Frank, and again, we're going to bracket the hole, and that's 32 minutes. Now we look at who whose information is related to Frank's. Well, if we look at the first sentence, we see that we have Terrence. So we have Terrence took three-fourths the time that it took Frank. So Terrence is going to be three-fourths of this original 32. I don't know what this amount is going to be. I'm going to leave that to you to calculate it. But once we find Terrence, we can find Charlotte. Because whatever it took Terrence, I'll just put a question mark here for Terrence. It took Charlotte two-thirds of that time. So whatever the value for Terrence is, we need to find two-thirds of it to find Charlotte's time. Ms. Phillips ordered 56 pizzas for a school fundraiser. Of the pizzas ordered, two-sevenths of them were pepperoni. 19 were cheese, and the rest were veggie pizzas. What fraction of the pizzas were veggie? Okay, that's a critical distinction here. We need to know what fraction, not how many. So again, we're going to make a tape diagram. We know that the hole is 56. We know that one part is 2 sevenths. Well, how much is two-sevenths? Can we find two-sevenths of 56? Whatever we get there is going to be our value for the pepperoni. We have a specific value of 19 for cheese. The rest are veggie. So we're going to work with numbers here. We're going to find a number for the pepperoni. We have a number for the cheese. And by using the uh, tape diagram we're going to find the sum of the two uh, of the veggie and the pepperoni and we're going to subtract it from 56 and find the veggies. But that gives us a specific number of veggies. It doesn't give us a fraction. But let's look at the cheese for example. Even though the cheese is given as, as a whole number we can say that is 1956. So whatever the number of veggie pizzas that we've determined there to be we can simply take that whole number, use it as the numerator, and put 56 as the denominator. After that, you can simplify the fraction to come up with the answer. In an auditorium, one-sixth of the students are fifth graders, one-third are fourth graders, and one-fourth of the one-third are the fourth graders, and one-fourth of the remaining students are second graders. There are 96 students in the auditorium. How many second graders were there? Let's make a tape diagram. We know that we have 96 children or students in the auditorium. Now I'm going to look at these two fractions here and I notice that I can find a common denominator easily. I have one-sixth uh, are uh, fifth graders and one-third are fourth graders. I could also say 2, 6 are 4th graders. So now we're going to take our diagram here and partition it into 6 equal parts. And I'm going to say that 1, 6 are 5th graders and 4th graders are 1 third or 2, 6. These are the remaining students. Now I can determine the number of that because how many are remaining? Well that's 3 6, so I can find 3 6 of 96, which is the same as half by the way. 
So after I do that, I can then take whatever that number is and I'm going to find one-fourth of it or divide it by four. This will give me the number of second graders. Which answers our question. At a track meet, Jacob and Daniel compete in the 220 meter hurdles. Daniel finishes in three-fourths of a minute. Jacob finishes with five-twelfths of a minute remaining. So that's the one that's a little bit more complicated. Who ran faster? Who ran the race in faster time? Okay, well, we are given this in minutes, and we may want to convert these to seconds. So Daniel is three-fourths of a minute. And we can convert that to seconds. What's the conversion factor between minutes and seconds? You should know that by now. That'll give us the number of seconds it took Daniel to finish the race. Jacob's a little more complicated. He had five twelfths of a minute remaining. So what we need to do is subtract five twelfths from our one. Whatever the answer is will be the uh, fraction of a minute. And we want to, again, change the minutes to seconds. Once we change the minutes to seconds, uh, we can easily find out, find out who had the better time. Again, bonus, express the difference in their times as a fraction of a minute. Well, we know that a minute has 60 seconds. So after we find the difference between the two of these, okay, so we're going to have a certain number of seconds for Daniel, certain number of seconds for Jacob, we'll subtract, find the difference. Whatever the difference is becomes our numerator here. And see if you can simplify that fraction. Create a story, or create and solve a story problem about a runner who's training for a race. Include at least one fraction in your story. I have some examples, or one example, of a problem very similar to this in the problem set video. But what we have here is a hole of 48. So that's our beginning point. We have 48 kilometers. And somehow we're going to split those into four equal parts. Now we can do that by dividing by four or finding one-fourth of the same thing. After we find the value of one-fourth, uh, these could be days or something like that, then we're going to split that, whatever the value is of the one-fourth, we're going to split it into how many parts? Three. And again, we can multiply that by one-third, or we can divide it by three. But either way, we need at least one fraction in the story. If you're having a problem with this, refer back to the practice set, and I do flesh out an example for you. Create and solve a story problem about two friends and their weekly allowance whose solution is given by the expression one-fifth times twelve plus eight. Well, since we have two friends, it's logical that we're going to work with these uh, numbers here for the friends. We could talk about their allowance, and we, talk, we can talk about how they spend one-fifth of it. Again, pretty simple, and if you need more guidance, go back to the practice set and take a look at the video that corresponds with this.